guys welcome to my channel so in this video i'm gonna be showing you that how you can connect your web api to sql server database so in this video i'm gonna be connecting my web api with a sql server connection and connecting it to a database okay in your case you can have your different uh, you know dbms systems like sql server access oracle or another okay so let's get started uh, before starting the video, I'm going to be showing uh, that uh, which database I am using here. I'm using this shopping portal which has a server name 199.7. Okay, this is my IP. Uh, my server is on online. Okay, it has a hosting space. Okay, uh, or I'm going to be connecting my registration table in the web API. Okay. So I have just created a uh, blank API. Okay, I have already shown you that how you can create your web API. You can check my videos. Uh, okay, so by, by you know, you have to connect your web API to a database now. So for that, uh, uh, I'm using the technique called Entity Framework. Okay, Entity Framework, uh, basically it is a L a paradigm on to connect your sql server with your you know web api the overall you know the whole database and under the databases you have tables or uh, objects like procedures or uh, procedures or views it will automatically uh, added into your web api through the entity framework okay uh, i'm going to be explaining this uh, so that you can understand easily okay so just right click on models add new item click on data and then ado.net entity data model just now i'm naming here db model click on ok select ef designer from database apply new connection write your ip here Okay, in my case, this, you can uh, also connect your uh, database with your, uh, you know, local machine, local machine SQL, you can write their IP or your local IP or uh, dot even to connect your web API with local SQL server. Okay. So SQL server, give your database credential here okay now the list of databases will be loaded in few seconds under which you can select your desired database in my case it is shopping portal just click on test connection it is succeeded click on ok will take few seconds as uh, you know the database connection is online and the server is so huge you know it contains lots of databases so it will take few seconds as usual You know, I am using the uh, Microsoft SQL Server. You can change the option here and uh, have your desired data sources. You know, in some cases you can uh, use Access, Oracle, MySQL. So you can always make the connection from different connections like ODBC, etc., etc. Okay. Now the database has been added. You have to include these uh, into your connection string. Yes. And then go to next. I'm using your entity framework 6.x.
okay now it is retrieving your databases views or stored procedure functions so in my case i will show you the registration table okay you can uh, you can also have the views or stored procedures here but in my case i am showing you the registration table so i have included only registration then click on finish Okay. Now you can see it added all the required references. That's why it is taking a bit more time. Okay. And it is also in have the uh, registration table here. You can see the whole schema of your table. I'll show you my okay I'm just showing you by increasing its font size so that you can see it very easily so it will not increase actually because it will only only increase the font size will not increase the size of the table I think it is clearly visible to you now okay so it has included all the or you know tables you can always select your stored procedures other tables functions and views so it will include now you can see the schema or you know any of the just like your primary key or any properties of your column which you have uh, you know made in your sql server so you don't need to open the sql server every time and see the column name okay now if i show you the folder it contains the the dot td folder under which under which you have the classes so it has automatically created your classes okay you don't need to create a class okay and you know get a set of properties it has included okay so that's how you can connect your database with your web apis i hope you learned something and thank you so much for watching see you in my next video till then bye